Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a review of the entire Chanel Chance range of perfumes. I did this video a few years ago and I thought it's time to do an updated one. So I have been buying them all, you guys. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five different ones here to take you through, which was very expensive. So I hope you appreciate it. Um, but if you are new here, then hello and welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of other perfume review videos, so do check them out. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. And you can support me as a channel member on Patreon or sign up to my newsletter in the description below. And down below, I'll also leave the links to where you can buy all these in the UK, Europe, and North America. So Chanel Chance came out 2005 and I think it's probably their third most known and popular perfume after Chanel number no. 5 and Coco Mademoiselle which is a worldwide number one bestseller. It's definitely a very recognisable bottle, the circular bottle with the square lid, quite an iconic style now and it comes in two versions of the original scent and then one, two, three, four, five four different types of flankers, which I'm gonna take you through. Chanel Chan's Eau de Parfum is a patchouli and musk fragrance. And then secondarily, like secondary, it's like pink pepper and jasmine. So it's very feminine, it's very pretty, it's quite warm and soft and cashmere-y almost. It's definitely a classy smell. Just like the bottle is super classy. This is the Eau de Parfum, which has a silver lid. I think if you like musky scents like Narcissa Rodriguez for her then you would like this and I do think if you like Coco Mademoiselle you probably like this because they both have patchouli as that main note and they both have jasmine. I know two people that wear this as their like signature scent and both of them will carry the bottle around with them during the day and top up maybe around lunchtime or after lunch in the afternoon so I think in terms of lasting power for sure, when those two people walk by, I smell it on them, I associate the smell with them. You can smell it on them, but it's not gonna last all day, you know, eight, nine, 10 hours. You are gonna wanna top it up, and that's the Eau de Parfum. But that's probably the same, you could say the same thing about all the Chanel perfumes. None of them are gonna last like all day. The thing that gets me about the Chanel perfumes and why I don't talk about them that much is the price tag. So they are pretty much the most expensive like mainstream designer perfume. I've had to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds just to get these five for this video. This is the smallest version of the Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum. It's a 35 mil and it's 62 pounds. So 62 pounds for a 35 mil. Other brands you can get their 100 mils for 60 something pounds. So you really are paying for the branding, but it is a classy scent, it is beautiful. Sometimes you can get them maybe 10% off, you know, even 20% if you're lucky sometimes, but they're rarely discounted and they don't do gift sets at Christmas either, um, except like very exclusive collaborations. So be prepared to spend money if you wanna get into the Chanel world. It, on the other hand though, it's so well recognized. If you're looking for something for a gift, perhaps you're a man looking to get a gift for a lady for Christmas or something, Mother's Day, no one's gonna be upset with a Chanel fragrance. And I think Chanel Chance is probably the safest of them all. Um, Coco Mademoiselle's a bit heavier. Chanel number no. five is not very popular with younger people. I think one of the Chanel Chances is probably the safest blind buy or gift buy from the Chanel range. So they're definitely my top recommendation for that from Chanel. I do like the scent. I don't find it like knockout amazing, but I do find it pretty and classy. So the original actually comes in an Eau de Toilette version which is the same scent but it has some pineapple added, some lemon, so it's a bit fresher, a bit zestier and being an Eau de Toilette it's not as concentrated so it's much lighter. I didn't even bother buying the Eau de Toilette version because I find it just doesn't last that well. You're gonna need to top it up every maybe two hours. So if you do like the original scent, then I would always go for the Eau de Parfum, unless you really do want something lighter and you love pineapple, because there's not many pineapple perfumes out there. But it essentially looks the same, except it has a transparent lid. So in 2007, Chanel Chance got its first flank 
Blanco, which is Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. And this comes in a green bo bottle, green liquid. I think on camera it looks lighter than it does in person. In person you can really tell it's like an appley green color. This is an Eau de Toilette fragrance and I have here the 50 ml. These 50 mils are about 73 pounds. So it's an Eau de Toilette, so you get more for your money than the Eau de Parfum, but they only come in, I think, in 50 and 100 ml sizes. They don't have the little 30 ml one. So this one is definitely for fans of green fragrances, as the branding would suggest. If someone likes um, Chanel number no. 19, this is like a more modern, lighter interpretation of a green fragrance from Chanel. The main note I get here is a cedar wood. So it kind of like smells like going out, walking in a forest, you know, with lots of cedar trees, very green, very nature, very outdoorsy. And it mixes really well with a lemon and a citron in here to really give that like natural, organic green feel. You've got some wild hyacinth in here, some jasmine, and then the signature musk and patchouli of the original are in here. But for me, they're totally um, overshadowed by that cedar wood. You can still tell they're kind of there, that signature chance smell, but really this is a cedar wood, this is a green fragrance. So you definitely have to like cedar wood to like this basically. I would say this isn't a safer buy because especially in a women's fragrance, something that's quite woody um, can be a bit polarizing. Not everyone wants that and not everyone loves green, but definitely if you like other green fragrances, then you should try this. It is an eau de toilette. I find it lasts better than the Chanel Chance original eau de toilette. You're maybe gonna get three or four hours out of this and then need to top it up, depending on how much you use, of course. Um, but I think for an eau de toilette to be 70 pounds for a 50 ml, you have to love it. Um, so I would only recommend this if you really love the smell and really love green fragrances. So in 2010, they then released Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. This comes in a pink liquid, pink branding. Again, the liquid looks much pinker in real life than it's showing on camera. This, I think, could be my favorite from the range. It's certainly the most like millennial, most appealing. And I have a feeling, I think it is the best seller of the three flankers. I'm actually wearing it now. And it's a very clean, innocent pink smell. So you've got some grapefruit in here and quince. And I love grapefruit. I find it really refreshing. Then you've got a pretty jasmine hyacinth central smell, basically. And then that muskiness from the original Chanel Chance. But there's no patchouli in here like there is in the original. So if you don't like patchouli, this is probably the one for you. To me, it just smells clean, classy. I can imagine, you know, the mother wearing, I don't know, Coco Mademoiselle or Chanel number no. five, and then the sort of young daughter wearing this. It's very much daytime, spring, clean, girly, feminine. I think this is a pretty safe blind buy for anyone that likes pink things or girly things. If you're looking for a present, that would be my um, safest recommendation from Chanel because it's just pretty. Even if you don't love that type of scent, I can't imagine anyone smelling it and saying they hate it. You know, it just smells nice and feminine and it's very clean. It feels very clean. I think spraying this after a shower it would make you just feel really fresh and ready to go for the day, but also that feminine floralness as well. So I do like this um, and obviously I like the pink color as well. <laughs> Recently, they've actually brought out an Eau de Parfum version of Oton which makes me think it was the best seller. This has that same quince grapefruit top note, but instead of hyacinth, they've put a rose heart in here with the musk. And rose is a bit of a stronger scent than hyacinth. But for me, it does totally change the fragrance and it makes it a bit darker, a bit more moody, a little bit more grown up. So you could perhaps go for Eau Tendre Eau de Toilette during the day and then Eau de Parfum at night. Um, but it's not exactly the same. It's not just a stronger version. It's got that rose in. So um, if you like the original, make sure you like rose if you're going to try out the Eau de Parfum. Again, it comes in a silver cap bottle and then the word chance is 
gold on the front whereas in the eau de toilettes it's white there's been a lot of discussion around which is better you know the tendre eau de toilette versus eau de parfum personally i like the smell best of the eau de toilette and um, even though the eau de parfum is a bit stronger but better for lasting i wouldn't say it's as strong as the original chance eau de parfum it's not that heavy um because it doesn't have the patchouli in i think but personally i think the Eau de Toilette is my favourite smell of the two. And then lastly, in 2015, they released Chanel Chance Eau Vive, um, which is a sort of yellowy, orangey colour liquid. This one is very refreshing, probably the most refreshing. It has one of my favourite notes in Blood Orange, and that really is the main note here, as well as the grapefruit citrusiness. And again, we have that jasmine heart muskiness as well of the original. But to me, the Blood Orange is like 50% of the fragrance at least and in that sense it kind of reminds me of the eau de toilette version of miss dior which also has a lot of blood orange in i personally would recommend this for very hot humid weather when you want that really fresh zesty citrusy fragrance you want to feel really refreshed definitely spring summer daytime and i find that you know really after an hour or so you might still be able to smell it on yourself but i don't think the projection is going to really go much further beyond just yourself it is an eau de toilette definitely not one for someone that wants something that everyone can smell it's super heavy but if you just want something cute and refreshing and classy for yourself and you love blood orange and citruses this is the best citrus from chanel in my opinion it's also a pretty safe buy i mean who doesn't like fresh citrus notes it's very very neutral and you could even layer this right like perhaps you have one of the other chances perhaps you have the eau de parfum and the original then in the summertime you could add this in for a bit of a fresh you know zesty vibe in in the hot weather so i do love the smell i just wish it was 10 times stronger there are of course loads of chanel chance body products lotions creams hair mists a million different accompanying products so if you're looking to really splash out perhaps as a gift you could get some of those to go with the fragrance that'd be a really pretty gift or even if you know someone has the fragrance already then getting one of the accompanying products could be a really nice safe buy safe gift because you know they like the smell already and um, they do help layer the fragrance they do help make it a bit stronger as well so that's it guys let me know what you think of the chanel chance range which one is your favorite do you think they're worth the price let me know in the comments down below and let me know which ones you have if you have any but that's it guys so thank you so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video bye